Okay, folks, welcome back. Uh, picking up where we left off with parameters, just want to go over some additional scenarios here to give you some additional flexibility around your parameters uh, beyond what you saw in the last video uh, in terms of what we defined kind of right out of the box, especially when you're using a Power BI data set and the magic button as it relates to multi-value parameters. So if you remember, we went and we made a change previously uh, where we unchecked the allow multiple values box and for our available values right now we're getting them from a specific data set and our default value is using this default value of Belgium. So because I changed this from uh, allowing multiple values I want to show you what happens if I go and I say okay I don't want to have this hard-coded value I want to get my values from a query and I go and I say okay what I really want it is from the uh, eBay country data and I want to use my country field as my value all right so if I hit OK and then I run my report here you'll notice something interesting happens um, you get an error message because it says hey uh, expression references uh, eBay country which does not exist in the parameters collection it's like oh, okay I can't use that particular item but what I'm going to do here instead is I'm going to go and say uh, no I'm going to use eBay country and I want to use my parameter value all right so if I do that instead if I go and I run my report you'll see uh, I have an interesting change here because now it's going to force me to select a value because it's saying, hey, you're not allowing me to send down multiple values anymore with my parameters. So I have to, in your default value, you're sending me multiple values. I can't choose something. So you have to go and then choose an item, Belgium, for example, to then go run the report. So just be careful when you're doing that with your parameter values because what will happen is oftentimes I'll hear from folks who are confused or wondering why when they go and they choose their parameters. Uh, they're saying, well, I'm using the parameters from a query as my default. Why can't I go and use that? Why is it not let, passing that through? And this could be one of the reasons why. So just keep that in mind. Um, so if I go back here and instead of, uh, instead of that particular, let's say I wanted to use a different query to give me my available values as opposed to my default values here. So here I'm using the same value set for both. But what I could do is I say, okay, I want to go create a brand new data set and I'm going to use the same item and I'm going to say distinct country. All right, Ooh, country. And I'm going to go to my query designer. And again, as I mentioned before, it's got to go reconnect to the data set. It's sitting in Power BI, our Power BI tenant. And once it comes up here, I'll say, okay, all I want to get here is just country. All right. So if I run it, I get my three countries here, Germany, United States, and Belgium. I hit okay. And again, very simple DAX query here. It's just evaluate summarize columns. And hit okay. Okay. So now if I go back to eBay country, you'll see here I still don't have it, but I'm going to change this to say, okay, I really do want to allow multiple values. So I'm going to say my available values, instead of using this data set, what I'm going to go do is I say, no, no, I'm going to use the distinct country data set and use those values as my value fields. And the default values I'm going to leave exactly as is. So let's see what happens here. So it's still saying, hey, look, I need you to go and pass these parameter values in, which is interesting. And I hit view report. But you see here that the available values, uh, they still, it's, the report still runs. So it's not like um, the, the report blew up or there wasn't, uh, there was some sort of um, uh, issue. It said, no, no, I can still go grab those values from my uh from my uh, other query that I created and use those as the available values to be passed through to my report. I mean, I think one of the things that's fascinating about this is you can actually go and create queries independent of your original data source that you have for these visuals and tables. And you can use that as just something you're using specifically for your parameter. 
Uh, so you could use a SQL Server data source uh, to get your parameter values and then pass them through as part of your report and make sure that's wired up. So that's something to keep in mind to give you additional flexibility here because then you can have, let's say it's a, I'll just use a SharePoint list as an example, but uh, it's probably not a great example since we don't have direct support for SharePoint lists in Power BI Report Builder yet, but let's just for the sake of argument say we did, which we do on-prem, for example. So you go and you say, hey, I want to use this SharePoint list, and people are going to keep updating this, and that's going to be the parameter values that I use for all my reports. And it's like, okay, well, you can hook the parameter values or the, the available values to that particular data set while your tables or your other elements in your report are actually connected to a different data set. And then just you're just essentially passing that through so it's being used for each of the different visuals accordingly. So you get back the values you want or the data you want. And a, a good way to think of it is like a VLOOKUP in Excel. So that's just something to keep in mind. So it is interesting there that uh, I, my default values did not uh, still give me what I was looking for. Well, let's see what happens if I just change that to the distinct country as well. And actually, I'm curious exactly how this will work, but well, see, it works exactly the same way. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, if your available values, uh, there's some quirkiness there if you're using a different set of available values versus the default values. Uh, but again, I was able to completely switch out the query that I used to pass through the parameters uh, for this particular use case and still worked just fine. So again, hopefully this was helpful in terms of explaining some additional uh, scenarios you can do here with parameter values. Uh, I think there's some more items I want to cover off of in the next video to kind of talk about uh, specific parameter value scenarios and how parameters can be wired up to different visuals. So we'll tackle that in another video. Thanks very much.